Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I live as a night shift nurse. I work tonight and right now it is one o'clock in the morning. And as a night shift nurse, your entire schedule is just flipped. So right now I have to stay up all night long up until like four or 5 a.m. and then sleep all day long. If you watch my other videos, you know that I struggle so hard with night shifts because I don't really do exactly what I'm doing right now. So this is kind of new for me because I am going to be doing a night shift properly. The way I usually do night shift for the last three years was I just go to bed around like midnight and I try to sleep in until like the latest I can up until like usually 11 a.m. or noon and that is the latest I can sleep in. And honestly, it has been working. I mean, it has been for the last three years, but it could be so much better because I'm literally hyped up on so much coffee, so much caffeine, Celsius, Monster, Red Bulls, every single thing. And I think my heart is going to explode eventually. And um, I'm so tired right now, but I have to stay awake. Like I have to stay awake. My eyes are just struggling to keep open right now. So I'm gonna do night shift properly now and I'm gonna stay up until like four or 5 a.m. And then probably at that point, I can sleep in until like two, three, maybe 4 p.m. And at that point, I might not even need coffee all night long. So that's kind of the goal, but if I still need like one cup of coffee, like we're doing great, we're doing great. But I think the worst part right now about night shift is that there's nothing going on. Like I'm so bored, like I just wanna sleep and I don't know what I should be doing right now. Like I was on TikTok for like the last two hours and it's only 111. Like Winston is out like a light, look at him. Look how cute he is. Hey Winston, say hi to the vlog. I know you're on day shift, but I'm on night shift so just want to say hi. Oh, he's so sleepy. Look at him. <gasps> and here is Bean over here. She is in her bed. But you're awake though. What are you up to? And the thing with night shift is that you would think that night shift nurses have no free time because they're sleeping all the time. Not necessarily because literally a lot of the effort that goes into night shift is the prep. And this is it right here. Like I have four to five hours to just do things by myself right now and I'm literally gonna hang out with this cat for the next four to five hours. What are you doing right here? What are you doing in the corner? <laughs> hey there, where are you going? If you ever wonder what I do on night shift, this is literally all I do. I just chill with this cat until it's time to go to sleep. And despite all of this right now, night shift is still really awesome because one, you get paid more, great. Second, at least for my hospital, you get better parking because we have to take a shuttle into the hospital from the parking garage and it's like 15 minutes. But if you're a night shift nurse, you can park on site. So there's no shuttle, no 15 minute wait time, nothing. So that kind of makes night shift really worth it because on day shift, there's nothing worse than getting to a parking garage and waiting in front of a whole line to get on a shuttle to get to work. And honestly, night shift is just generally easier. There's a lot less going on. You're not doing procedures. You're not really doing scans unless it's really emergent. So it's pretty awesome, honestly. Like when you're actually working the night shift, it's really great. It's just all of this. It's only 1.30 right now. So I'm literally gonna watch New Girl from the very start and I'm gonna see how far I can get. All right, I'm an idiot and I did not record the audio to this part and as you can tell, I'm just talking to the camera and there's nothing you can hear. So I'm gonna do a little voiceover. Um, I did wake up at 5 p.m. 5 p.m., that is 13 hours of sleep on night shift. That would be amazing on any shift, honestly, because I get like seven on day shift. So I'm just here talking to the camera, got my figs on, I'm showered, I'm ready to head into work and I have two Celsius just in case I start crashing, but honestly, I should feel pretty good for the entire 12 hour shift. And I will see you guys in the next clip, which has audio, so sorry about that. All right, I made it to work and I did get a coffee because I get so nervous on night shift that I won't have enough coffee to get me through the whole 12 hour shift. So this is like backup, but I shouldn't need it because I literally slept for the last 12 hours all day. I had not seen any daylight. So I'm just hoping for a good shift tonight and I will vlog on my lunch breaks and I will see you then because I need to go in right now. All right, and I'm back and I am feeling awesome. It is 2.50 a.m. in the morning and I feel amazing. Who would have thought that if you sleep a good amount of time before your night shift, you'll be good. And literally the funniest thing just happened to me right now. I was eating my sandwich alone, two o'clock in the morning, alone in the break room, no one else there. And my charge nurse walks in and says, Alex, we're gonna have to send you home. There's no patience. I told you guys before that in the ER during night shift is a lot quieter because people don't wanna go to the ER. 
at nighttime, do you like going during the daytime, but there's always still patience, but this is the first time in my entire career where I am going home early because there's no patience. And luckily my charge nurse was nice and she was like, you can stay until 323 so you can round out your eight hours and just help out the unit until then. But yeah, I'm going home early, literally going home early. And yeah, this is the first time this ever happened to me. Um, it's always patience in the hospital. There's never not patience. And this is very interesting. I'm not mad about it. Like I'm happy I at least got to work for eight hours, but um, yeah, it kind of sucks because I slept so much. So we're gonna try to sleep when I get back. That's gonna be a fun time. And at the moment, um, at least there's no morning rush hour when I go home because no one's gonna be on the road at 3 a.m. And yeah, that's kind of what happened right now. I wanna give you guys an update, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. And I will see you guys when I get home because <laughs> there's nothing to do right now. So I'm, I'm just gonna enjoy this commute home. It's gonna be really easy, no cars on the road, and I'm just gonna blast some Taylor Swift and sing along. I'll see you guys when I'm back home. And that is it. I am going home right now. I am walking to my car. It is 3.30 in the morning and I am absolutely freezing. It is so cold out right now. Um, I don't think I've driven back at 3.30 a.m. ever or in a really long time. So this is kind of hilarious, but um, it's sort of, oh my hair, my God, my hair is going crazy right now. It's sort of a win because I get to go home early, you know, who doesn't want to go home early? And I can actually get some sleep and get back on a regular schedule, but it's like, I put so much prep into this night shift. It's like, I might as well just use it all and do the full 12 hour shift. But thank God I did not drink any more caffeine. Um, I brought two Celsius with me and I did not drink them. I did drink one coffee, but I think it should wear off soon. So we'll see. And I will see you guys at home. Hey, good morning. What's up? Are you sleepy? <laughs> Look how sleepy he is. He can barely open his eyes. What's up, Bean? How you doing? <laughs> oh my God, you're so sleepy. I love you. Wait, I don't want to touch you. I'm gross from the hospital. I'm not going to touch you yet, but... How are you doing, little girl? Oh my God, look at her. She's so sleepy. But guys, that is the video, I guess. Oh, here's Winston. He wants to say hi and bye. But that's the whole video. It kind of got cut short because obviously I got sent home, but... Hopefully you still enjoyed the video and I know you guys like these vlogs so I'm gonna keep making them as long as you guys still like them. And just thank you again for all your support. Like literally, I love all you guys and I'm just so grateful that people even want to watch this. Even if I get 100 views, I don't care. That's 100 people that want to watch my videos and it means so much to me. So thank you so much guys and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> See you later, guys.